Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's uh, let's have a quick chat. Uh, stuff, right? Looking good. <sighs> Little breaking news. Over the last few months, lock and load. Yeah, this is really kind of annoying because I've already done this video once, but now that I have new information, I have to kind of re-record. Um, let's see. Over the last few months, lock and load has really stepped up its game came out with the delivery of Heroes of Pacific, which uh, blew out all their expectations, sold over a thousand copies from whenever it was still released, I think was, was it November or October, December, sometime frame. So pretty fast run rate, followed up with a number of other titles, including Heroes of Normandy, Heroes of the Nam, and finally uh, Falklands, which uh, has sold 500 copies since it came out just a couple of weeks ago. So kicking it. And it's primarily because of the new consist consistency with counters, maps, larger maps, using this, this X map concept, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you think I've told you before that the guys uh, putting pretty much everything on, that's on paper in-house, uh, new maps, the standard maps, books, charts, all that sort of good stuff. They are also uh, have identified a, you know, a great company to make very cool boxes for them and to make uh, counter sheets, uh, the counters for them uh, with the rounded edges and all that sort of prettiness. So it's pretty fabulous. What, ha what, what couple of the so that's good, right? Now, if you're a game designer and a publisher, I think you always need to be looking for ways to take things up another notch and differentiate yourself from the marketplace. And I think they have done a couple of things that are pretty neat with the lock and load system that uh, is refreshing. First of all, they've made a commitment to refresh the rules, so they've done that. Lots of clarifications. It's kind of blown up the size of the rule book, but it's big fonts, lots of diagrams, and lots of explanations, and that makes it awesome. Uh, I I don't care. It doesn't affect me. I've played it so much, I pretty much know the system most of the time, except when I'm cheating. Uh, the... So the two other things they have done, so there's three things they've done that are, that are new and interesting. Two of which you know about, and one which is new, which is why I'm making the freaking video. Uh, first is uh, the battle generator. So for some of these modules here, there will be battle generators that will allow you, so for instance with Heroes Pacific, allow you to create your own uh, uh, scenarios that can be attack or media engagements or defensive engagements or whatever the case may be on a variety of maps with a variety of forces. Same for Heroes of Normandy and other modules, right? Others to come. It's a very labor-intensive effort, but it's extremely well done, well printed. In fact, if I was smart, I would have had a copy of one here to show you so you could see the, the quality of the, the effort. So very, very nice stuff. The second thing that they've done that you may or may not be aware of is that you can go and download a, uh, I think a free print and play copy of their game, uh, a mini game, and try the the game out, try the system out. So as a tactical war gamer, if you're curious about what this lock and load stuff is all about, you can get a copy for almost for nothing, or you can go and download it. Uh, download it. You can go and buy a copy, and they'll print it print it out with extra big counters, extra um, extra. Uh, nice maps and all that sort of fun stuff and you can see everything play it nice little demo game comes with the explanation of everything and you're off and running and it does uh, i think there's two so there's one for infantry and one for vehicles and i think it loses a buck or two bucks over what he sells uh, according to him so it's really doing it as an investment but the big news is the which I alluded to uh, last week uh, in my blog, or maybe it was earlier this week in my blog, that um, one of the cool things uh, about wargaming is you can play against people, but when you can't play against people, you, what do you do? You know, you pretend to, to play either side. And there's been a, I think, a big push in the marketplace to come up with AI systems. You know, Mark Herman has certainly done a lot of that, and so have as Volk Volky with, excuse me, with the uh, coin system, there's uh, nice AI in those games. So that's become quite a thing. And that has now evolved into the tactical world. Uh, is it U um, or Way or UWE? U uh, from Academy Games came out with the Conflict of Heroes uh, 
solo system and uh, works fabulously. It's got this great card based mechanic and looks very nice and plays really well apparently. So uh, David and you are friends and what uh, they have agreed to do, uh, uh, Lock and Load have licensed the, uh, let's call it the tech, I call it the technology, call it the method and are refining the art and redoing the art for the cards and obviously coming up with some concept art for the packaging for the whole thing. But each of these major modules will receive its own AI system and you'll be able to play against the AI and have an awesome time and not know what the hell's going on. So you won't be second guessing yourself the entire time. Yeah, there are many people who don't want to do that and that's awesome. You don't need to buy it. But I was really impressed that uh, uh, you know David and you came to an arrangement they both know each other pretty well, uh, represent each other at different trade shows when one side or the other can't make it. So the good buddies and the fact they're both selling, you know, basically competitive products really impresses me that they're they're looking out for us as gamers first and their back pockets second. Pretty nice, huh? So that's the announcement. That's the story. That's what's going on. Uh, I think I wanted to share with you that the lock and load guys, I think the franchise is in good hands. And they're uh, innovating and trying to do new things and better things and make games not perfect, but close to perfect. And while I am not a huge World War II fan at the squad level, I just haven't been into it. I am getting into it and enjoying it a lot more now that I'm playing uh, some of these modules. They're uh, actually pretty enticing scenarios. So... Well done, everybody. Well done, David and the crew there. I know you guys are working real hard uh, to try and keep up with the demand. And David, David mentioned to me that for every box they ship, they have four more to go. So uh, it, the, the backlog is fairly large over there. So be patient. Try not to whine too hard. If you haven't got your game just yet, it's going to come. And if it doesn't, put a ticket in. That way you're guaranteed you'll get a response. If you whine on Facebook, you whine on the big board, not the big board, that's me. Uh, if you whine on Board Game Geek, not so cool. But David will find you there as well and probably take care of you there as well. Anyway, all the best. Get some of this stuff. Have some fun with it. Enjoy it because it's freaking awesome. And especially the modern stuff. Heroes of the Falklands is far away one of my favorite modules out of the lock and load system uh, including heroes of the gap which i think is pretty fantastic as well and then i would say day heroes and nam are the next two of my favorites and i'm uh, i'm slowly falling in love with heroes of normandy peace out